Section 4.2, the sine and cosine laws in obtuse triangles. The sine and cosine laws can be used to determine unknown side and angle measures. In obtuse triangles, the exact same way that they can be used with acute triangles. There's just one little difference. You have to be careful when you're using the sine law to determine the measure of an angle because an acute angle is always given. You may need to do an extra step to determine the obtuse angle, namely take 180 degrees and subtract the acute angle that you find. Something to remember, the largest side in a triangle is always opposite the largest angle. Here's an example. Determine the measure of angle A in the obtuse triangle to the tenth of a degree. Side A is the longest side. So here's my triangle. I have angle B is 23 degrees, side B is 40 centimeters, and side A is 65 centimeters. I'm going to use my sine law. So sine A is equal, sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. I can plug in what I know and get that sine A over 65 is equal to sine 23 over 40. Multiply, cross multiply to get 40 sine A is equal to 65 sine 23. Then I divide by 40 to get sine A isolated. So I have 65 sine 23 divided by 40 is equal to sine A. Sine A is equal to 0 0.6349. Then I take the inverse sine to get A is equal to 39.4153 degrees. But I know that the longest side is opposite the largest angle. So A has to be our obtuse angle. So A is equal to 180 minus 39.4153. That equals and rounds to 140.6 degrees.